Okay, so when we're going on to graph paper, uh, we want to put it inside of the format that we want to use. And we want to use a 4x4 four four format, uh, which is about this size. All I've done with this is uh, made a mark in one corner, counted over four inches on the graph paper, and I know the graph paper is a little hard to see on the screen, um, but counted over four inches on the graph paper, up four inches, and I put these little marks in here and our logo will fit inside of this. We want it to get to all of the edges if possible or two or three of the edges. Some of you might have logos that are more uh, long and skinny like this and in that case a 5 by 3 format is just fine as well. So when we're drawing with this we want to get really specific uh, by counting squares. So I'm going to draw a letter on here as my logo and I'm going to count squares as I do this. So I'm going to start about right here, and I know my hand's in the way, so I'll move it out occasionally. And I'm going to start with a serif. So I, I want my serif to go uh, pretty evenly, and I'm going to go about like this. So I've gone down from my original mark, one, two, three squares, and I've gone over one, two, three squares, and I've started to draw my serif. Okay, and then I'm going to follow this down. Okay, until I'm about three squares from the bottom. One, two, okay, one, two, three squares from the bottom. And then I can put in my other serif that is just like this serif up here. It's uh, three squares uh, by three squares. Okay, and then I can kind of draw this in. And I guess I'm going to make my uh, letter, I'm going to make the letter, I'm going to make the letter P today. I guess I'm going to make it about this thick. So I'm going to lightly draw in that line, okay? And my letters then are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares thick. So that's how thick that letter is. So I want all of the parts of my letter to be seven squares. Now the reason why we're going to get that specific is because if some of my letters, some of my parts of my letter are seven squares, and some are five or six squares, like if I, you know, put letter parts over here that are five or six squares, if it's just slightly off, it will look awkward and strange and, and you'll know that there's something wrong. But if you want to change your letter thickness throughout the letter, as long as it's a pretty big change, um, you know, that looks fine. I'm drawing a pretty straightforward letter here. Most of you are not necessarily doing letters that are this straightforward. I'm just saying that if, it sh if it's supposed to be the same thickness, use the squares to make sure your parts are the same thickness. So I'll continue on with this. Again, I know that my serif that I'm drawing is, is 3 by 3, so I'm going to count out 3 by 3, start in the same place, and bring it over. Now, I'm not using ruler for this. I'm just kind of trying to follow this along on the graph paper to get myself organized for the next step where I will use a ruler. Okay, so I'm going to make a little mark about right there because that's where I'm going to start to round off my letter to draw the P. Okay, and the P is going to be seven squares thick also, so the rounded part, rather. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to draw a line across like that. And then the counter, the negative space, will also be seven. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and bring that across. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and bring that across. So now I've ensured that all of the big parts of my letter here are the same thickness. Okay, my counter is the same thickness. And again, if it's just slightly off, it looks awkward, okay? Uh, I know that I now want to break the curve toward the curve about right here. So I'm going to draw a line down. It's just kind of a guideline. I'll erase that later. And I want my counter to end at that line. So I'm going to find the center point and break my curve toward the center point and break that curve toward the center point, okay? And I'm kind of sketching it so I can kind of choose the line that I want to use and I can go back and erase a little bit. Erasing at this point is fine. Okay, so the center is about there so I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so about there. So I'm going to break at that line that I drew. Try and focus this here with the highlight. Okay, 
I'm going to break it around and break that around. Okay, so it's a well-organized letter uh, that I've drawn here. I would go back in through here with an eraser to get rid of some of those guidelines I've drawn. But it's a well-organized letter, and everything is the same thickness. Okay, um, there can be other things that you can do. Not everybody's going to have uh, an extremely highly organized letter like this, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you how, it is, how you count squares to make sure things are the same thickness or uh, the same thinness. Uh, throughout the letter. Okay, not every letter will be able to be organized this well. But you can also see how it takes up the majority of my 4x4. Four four. I didn't draw a 4x4 four four and then draw a tiny in the middle. I've made a logo that fits. Uh, this technique of counting squares and lining things up can be used for symbols, it can be used for letters, it can be used for all kinds of things that you might have uh, in your logo. Okay.